fear. A primal emotion deeply embedded within the darkest reaches of the human psyche. An emotion exploited to its tightest grip in the realm of cinema. From the most bombastic of grotesque monstrosities haunting the deepest reaches of our nightmares, to the subtle horror softly whispering in the seldom lit shadows of the human condition. A good scare is a staple of good film. There is an endless bloodbath of terrifically terrifying scenes in the history of cinema, but the frights that truly scar the depths of one's soul for life are those endured during the innocence of childhood. Without further ado, let's shine a light on the six scariest scenes in cinematic history. Number six, Home Alone. The idea of crazed strangers entering the safety of one's home is terrifying enough, but that becomes a mere obstacle in comparison to the possessed furnace lurking in the basement. The fire lights, the hinges creak, the music swells. This scene sent me running out of the room in the mirror image of Kevin McAllister himself. Number five, the never ending story. <laughs> there is a lot of shared trauma to unpack from this masterpiece of emotional baggage. Yet the scene that forbid my curious eyes to watch was no other then the Sphinx's gate, so beautiful, so elegant, yet so menacing, so violent. Let's just say when the roasted knight's face shield flew open, it tested my Sphinxer's gate. <laughs> Number four, Jason and the Argonauts. Now, you are probably guessing it was the stop motion skeletons that overwhelmed my heart with impending doom. Nope. It was this heart-pounding attack from the towering statue of Talos that lumbered its way into my nightmares. The horrific screeching of its rusted joints. No, my freaking ears! Still resides within the deep recesses of my mind. Even the rusted blood-like fluid pouring out of its heel confused and petrified me. Number three. If you want non-stop laughter, <laughs> then look no further than Pee-wee's big adventure. Non-stop laughter that stopped dead in his tracks for a trembling flash of grotesque fright, that is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In the years that followed, as my cinematic curiosity outpaced my fears, my brother and I would watch this triumph of visual effects frame by frame. <laughs> Number two. I long wondered if this next entry was a real film or just a fever dream of mine as a child. Upon its rediscovery, the trauma was confirmed. What? Hello. Who are you? An angel. The Adventures of Mark Twain. Wow, this is a fun, child-friendly claymation curiosity. I hope it doesn't frighten me to my core, leaving me paralyzed in a haze of existential thoughts. Life itself is only a vision. Hello, new character. What's your name? Satan. Oh, what will you show us? You may make some people. Now we'll give them life. How annoying that sound. Oh God, the voices, the sounds. Why Mark Twain, why? So it's time for some honorable mentions and afterthoughts. The entire film of Tremors for making the ground hot lava for months. The related sandworms of Beetlejuice, the weird beetle Garthams from the Dark Crystal, the owl and the secret of Nim, and just everything and anything to do with Return to Oz. Being born in the 80s was a wild ride, baby. Number one, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. This is still the greatest action film of all time. Yet, there was one scene that kept me scrambling for excuses to leave the room for precisely one minute and 44 seconds. 
the bathroom worked for a while, then came getting a snack, then refreshing my root beer, and so on and so on. The searing heat and ash of the nuclear blast in Sarah's dream is rooted deep in my nightmares. Oh my God, this scene has done more to discourage nuclear war than every bilateral agreement, war protest, and school lecture combined. <laughs> Like, share, subscribe. Did you hear that? <laughs>